six in the morning. Yeah, I gotta get up this early. Have to catch the first bus. Six twenty. Yeah. Is there a rule against taking pictures on the bus, or? Well, if you need permission, first of all, I don't want to be in it. So well, you you weren't in it. No, but... no, I said. What's that? It's my first amendment right that I can take when I want to take. It's in a public place. Well, the law is if I'm in a public place and you're in a public place, I can take a picture of you. That's what the law is. You want to bet? You want to bet that's what the law is? You want to bet that's what the law is? You want to bet that, law you want to bet that I know more about what the law of taping people is than you are? I can state to you, you do not have permission to take photos of myself. Okay. I'm going to leave right there. I have my own confidence. You have your own constitution, that's fine. But I go by the United States Constitution, which says you're in a public place and I can legally take pictures of you whether you like it or not. Because that's the law. I wasn't, but just so you know how the law works. See, this sign means anyone can pay because it's already being paid. Second bus, six feet. And nearly an hour later, I'm at the courthouse. It's gonna be a long day of being punished for being homeless. Not even 7.30 in the morning yet. And this is the line. Oh, yep, yeah. the criminal window. Because being homeless makes me a criminal. How you doing? Hi, you're already on the calendar this morning. And, um, judges, I'm going to notify him there is a second case. It's a beautiful view right there. Fortunately, I'm in court. Wow, what a beautiful view. Unfortunately, I'm in court for being homeless. Yes. And then we have the second case to fail to appear um, uh, in December of 12. Well, well that the problem is you fail to appear a couple of times on these cases, so Mr. Phillips, the DA, doesn't have a file because of your failures to appear. So what I'm going to do is pass these cases, give him a chance to get a file, and make you an offer. So just have a seat. Okay. Actually, what I looked up on the computer, one of the cases is listed under Seth Anderson, which is not me, and the other one is Seth Aronson, which is me. So, can we throw out the case that Seth Anderson? Yeah, I'm, I'm only one of those guys. Yeah. Yeah, they were both me, but I, I was just... For what? Soliciting a motor vehicle, in other words, begging. Yes. Okay. And then, before that, uh, or after that, did you get a citation in July of last year for possession of a shopping cart? Yes. Okay, so these are your cases. Here's the deal. Um, I'm going to ask um, uh, Mr. Phillips, the Deputy District Attorney, mm -hmm. to make you an offer to resolve these uh, cases uh, today. One is possession of a shopping cart, and the other one is begging, uh, soliciting a motor vehicle. Do you want to try to resolve these today? I do not. I want, I want to go to a jury trial. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. In that case, you're going to need a lawyer. I would like to represent myself. 
Okay, in that case, we need certain waivers filled out. They're called Pareto waivers. Okay. And uh, you're going to have to come back this afternoon. Okay. We will see to it that you get Pareto waivers. Okay. And then we will take it from there on. So okay. And I, I can't have the case against Seth Anderson dismissed by just a technicality that it's not me? Uh, no, I'll I tell you what. Uh, you're going to represent yourself. Just bring me points and authorities. I consider everything. Okay. So I just later, I come back up we'll after. Back. Thank you. I would say in your case, Rob, be back and hear it too. Yes, and then we'll have the forms uh, for you that you need. Thank you very much. yourself in a uh, criminal case before? No. Um, you are aware then that uh, you're going to be uh, up against a, uh, a trained lawyer who will be prosecuting you on these two separate charges. Understand? Yes. Uh, do you understand what the charges are? Yes. Okay. Uh, and do you have some idea of what the defenses to those charges may be? Yes. All right. And I see that um, you've attended uh, San Diego State and uh, earlier at community college. Uh, you participated in mock trial in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, you're a district manager of Cannabis Collective? I was. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, it uh, seems to me that you are qualified to represent yourself, so I am going to Thank you. Uh, permit you to do that. And what we're going to do now uh, is uh, enter not guilty pleas on both of these uh, cases for you. Okay. And now you have a right to have a jury trial uh, set within um, 45 days of uh, today's date. Typically, what we would do is select... Um, a day 15 days before the actual jury trial date to give you an opportunity to come in and try to resolve the case with the district attorney. So I'm going to set it for um, day 30 or 45. Let me tell you when the date is. Okay. Okay, we're going to return at 8.30 a.m. on that day, right? 8.30 a.m., and do I, I come to this courtroom, yes, or? Sir. Okay. Right. Thank you very much.
And oh, we would, after I meet with the DA, then we'd set the court date if him and I can't work something out? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Your favorite return customer. <laughs> the zipper broke again. I want a different kind. I can't even. This is obviously their zippers are crap. <sighs> this is like the third one. The zippers don't even last two months. Okay. okay I just... Go ahead and okay. Thank you. So after court, since my last bus pass, I had to get a bunch of stuff done. Traded out my sleeping bag for one that doesn't suck. A friend helped me. Friend sent me an email gift card for Target, 50 bucks. I could, woo! So I have a backpack again, yeah! So thank you, I got a backpack, so I don't have to carry things around in this. Uh, coconut oil, kombucha, soap. Uh, I think it's time for the transfer. I've been living with all these cups. I guess for now, I'll just... So yeah. Yeah, I got cute tips. In that Trader Joe's bag, I was carrying all this trash. Out of my glove! All this stuff. Coming around a rock, olive oil. Not for nefarious purposes, mind you. I massage my hands with it. Ooh, yeah, baby. It's a piece of plastic. There you go. It wouldn't let go of my hand. There it goes again. It let go of me. I mean, right? No. We've got two rocks. I'm carrying this around. They're my buddy. What? They're my buddies. Hey guys. Hi. Hi, doing okay? Thanks for asking. Then glory, glory, I took a shower at the gym. <sighs> Needed that. Where I lay my head is my home, as they say. Or as I say, <laughs> not many days these days. Anywho, as much as I'm going to be going home, I got one last errand. One last errand. I like it though. I'm bringing these books back to the library. Whose books? The infamous V's books. She's reading, yeah. Sure, we're in a huge drought, and this is a desert, but the sheriffs need their really green lawn, you know? Great job, sheriffs! Wasting all that water. Watering a green lawn in the desert. Good job, guys! <laughs>